Carl here. Let's teach you how to create a map with pie charts. The first thing we're going to do to do this is we're going to add the map here. We're going to increase this across our report view. Once we increase this across our report view, we're just going to go ahead and add state. Once we add our state to, in order to best see this, we want to come to our bubble sizes and we just want to probably increase this to that. So I'll just go ahead and you can, like I say, you, you can pan with your middle click or you can just scroll up and down. The next thing we want to do to create our bubble chart is we want to go ahead and add in product category because we want to add something that represents a state with multiple items. So once we do that, we can see that we have instantly created pie chart visuals within our map using the bubble sizes. So now we can see that each state has different categories in the bubbles. So you can see what those indications are. Now, right now, there's no information behind them, but we can also add that information. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of food and spices because food and spices is heavily weighted. And we're just going to get rid of it. So now we can kind of see what we're looking like. And I'm going to add in the sales into the bubble sizes. Now that we add in the sales to our bubble sizes, what we now get is a weighted pie chart. And if you've seen before, before we added sales, our pie charts weren't weighted, but they were evenly distributed just to let you know about the different representation of data in each state. So when we add in our sales, once again, now we can see which product category outweighted the other product categories in our pie chart, as we see here in Arizona, where soup was 59.19 and bread was 52, where the heavily weighted one had the most area of cover in the pie chart, when the one with the minimum sales had the smallest amount of area covered in the pie chart. So now you should know how to create a pie chart in Power BI.